Brief Overview of the Mossad's Reputation and Mystique The Mossad, officially known as the Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, is one of the world's most renowned and enigmatic intelligence agencies. Established in 1949, shortly after the formation of the State of Israel, the Mossad has garnered a reputation for its secretive and clandestine operations. Often shrouded in mystery, the Mossad has been the subject of countless books, movies, and conspiracy theories, adding to its mystique. Its operatives are known for their exceptional skills in intelligence gathering, covert operations, and counterterrorism, making the Mossad a formidable force in the world of espionage. Importance of Understanding the Mossad's History and Role in Israel's Security to truly comprehend the significance of the Mossad, one must delve into its history and understand its pivotal role in safeguarding the State of Israel. The agency's primary mission is to protect Israel's national security interests by gathering intelligence, conducting covert operations, and countering threats from various quarters, including terrorist organizations, hostile governments, and other entities that pose risks to the country. Given Israel's unique geopolitical position in the Middle East, the Mossad's actions have had far-reaching implications not only for Israel but for the entire region and, at times, the world. Studying the Mossad's history provides valuable insights into the challenges Israel has faced since its inception and the strategies it has employed to overcome them. It underscores the lengths to which a nation will go to ensure its survival in a volatile region. Additionally, understanding the Mossad's operations sheds light on the broader issues of intelligence, security, and geopolitics, offering lessons and perspectives that extend beyond the borders of Israel. In this exploration, we will delve into the Mossad's origins, its key operations, its evolving role in the 21st century, and the ethical and moral dilemmas it has faced. By doing so, we hope to gain a deeper understanding of the Mossad's impact on Israel's security and its place in the global intelligence community. Founding of the Mossad and its Early History The Mossad short for Hamasad Lamodiin Ule Tafkid Ameyuadin, which translates to the Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, was officially established in December 1949, shortly after the founding of the State of Israel. It was founded as a successor to the Central Institute for Coordination, which had existed during the pre-statehood period of Israel. The Mossad's primary mission was, and still is, to gather intelligence, conduct covert operations, and engage in counterterrorism efforts to protect Israel's national security interests. It was founded to address the critical security challenges facing the newly established state and to ensure its survival in a hostile region. Role in Israel's Fight for Independence during Israel's struggle for independence in the late 1940s, the precursor to the Mossad, the Central Institute for Coordination, played a crucial role in intelligence gathering and covert operations. This period was marked by conflicts with neighboring Arab states and Palestinian groups seeking to prevent the establishment of the Jewish state. The intelligence gathered by the Mossad's early predecessors was instrumental in helping Israel defend itself and ultimately secure its independence in 1948. One of the Mossad's notable early achievements during this time was the successful Operation Magic Carpet, which involved airlifting thousands of Yemenite Jews to Israel. This operation showcased the agency's ability to carry out complex and daring missions. Key Figures in Mossad's Early Years Several key figures played pivotal roles in the Mossad's early years. One of the most prominent figures was David Ben-Gurion, Israel's first Prime Minister, who played a central role in establishing the Mossad and defining its mission. 
Reuven Shiloh, the first director of the Mossad, was instrumental in shaping the agency's organizational structure and operational focus. Another notable individual was Isser Harrell, who served as the Mossad's second director from 1952 to 1963. Harrell was responsible for expanding the Mossad's operations, particularly its focus on counterterrorism and intelligence gathering on hostile states. Under his leadership, the Mossad conducted operations to capture or eliminate Nazi war criminals, such as Adolf Eichmann. These early leaders and operatives of the Mossad laid the foundation for the agency's reputation as a formidable intelligence and covert operations organization which would continue to evolve and adapt to the changing security challenges faced by Israel in the decades to come. Operation Wrath of God, Avenging the Munich Olympics Massacre In 1972, during the Munich Olympics, a Palestinian terrorist group called Black September took 11 members of the Israeli Olympic team hostage and eventually killed them. In response, the Mossad launched Operation Wrath of God, a covert and extensive campaign to track down and eliminate those responsible for the Munich massacre. The operation spanned several years and involved assassinations of individuals involved in the planning and execution of the attack. Notable operations within Wrath of God included the killing of Ali Hassan Salame, a key figure in the Munich attack, in 1979. Operation Opera, bombing of the Osirak nuclear reactor in Iraq. In 1981, the Mossad executed a daring airstrike on the Osirak nuclear reactor near Baghdad, Iraq. The reactor was suspected of being part of Iraq's nuclear weapons program. The operation, codenamed Operation Opera, involved Israeli fighter jets flying deep into enemy territory to destroy the reactor. This preemptive strike effectively delayed Iraq's nuclear ambitions and demonstrated the Mossad's willingness to take decisive action to protect Israel's security. Operation Entebbe, Rescue of Hostages in Uganda Operation Entebbe is one of the most famous rescue missions in history. In 1976, an Air France plane was hijacked by Palestinian and German terrorists and diverted to Entebbe Airport in Uganda. The terrorists demanded the release of Palestinian prisoners and threatened to kill the hostages. The Israeli government authorized a rescue mission, and a team of Israeli commandos, led by Yonatan Netanyahu, brother of future Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, stormed the airport, rescued the hostages, and eliminated the terrorists. The operation was a remarkable display of precision and bravery. The secrecy and precision involved in these operations. Mossad operations are characterized by a high level of secrecy and precision. This secrecy is crucial to protect the identity of agents, maintain the element of surprise, and ensure the success of the mission. Mossad operatives undergo rigorous training and are often chosen for their exceptional skills, intelligence, and ability to adapt to complex situations. Precision is a hallmark of Mossad operations. The agency meticulously plans its missions, relying on accurate intelligence and cutting-edge technology. Whether it's assassinating high-value targets or conducting daring rescues, Mossad operatives are known for their attention to detail and ability to execute missions with minimal collateral damage.